How can I be satisfied? I, I actually, I feel sorry for the president. I mean, if uh, uh, he doesn't do anything, and uh, these are the kind of excuses that you hear about what he's doing, then really we are in very serious trouble. What, a lot worse than we are. You don't feel uh, empathy. You don't feel a presidency which recognizes the fact that it has very serious problems and the country has, um, has very serious problems, a lot more than the presidency that it has. Um, and then you, all you hear is um, we should pray. We are praying and we will continue to pray. And one of the things we are praying for is that God should um, show President Buhari the way um, either to fix this country as quickly as possible or to give way so that somebody else, the same way that he said in 2013, um, if you can't fix the country, there are other people who can do it better. That is the truth. We are, as northerners, we are dying like nothing. Other Nigerians are dying too. It's not just the northerners. De death, killing is becoming a national pastime. More and more people are dying from violence. How many people are going to die before President Buhari recognizes the fact that he needs to do something serious? We don't have the time to wait. You can tell us all the, the things that you think he's, he's committed to, but we measure him by just one thing. What is the outcome of your commitment? What is, what is the result of all these things you're doing? We don't see them on the ground. We don't see them on the road when we travel. We don't see them in our homes. We don't see them on the farms, on the farms where poor people go. Everywhere you go, the country, has, the country has become more dangerous to live in. The Sultan was absolutely correct. Now, and if you know what it takes for someone like the Sultan of Sokoto to actually speak out and say what he said, if you know what it is for a loyalist of President Buhari like Senator Shatima to say what he said on the floor of the Senate, then you must know that the situation is a lot worse than even what the Northern Elders Forum said. What we said is simple. It's an exercise of a democratic right. An elected person is elected to perform a job. He doesn't perform that job. You tell him, please, let's, let's, let's have someone who does it. These are people who, Sultan of Sokoto is the kind of person who doesn't speak unless it becomes absolutely essential. Senator Kasim Shatima has been a diehard loyalist of President Buhari from day one. And he had supported President Buhari with his life. If these people can say what they said, if Governor Zulum of Bono State, a professor who would know the implication of saying in public, bring back South African mercenaries. If he can say that to the president's delegation in Bono, because our military obviously is failing, because that's how, why you bring, you bring uh, mercenaries. If you put all these things in, 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 uh, together and you look, put them within the within a context, it just tells you one thing. The president has lost control of our security. There's no other way around it. You can, there's no spin you can put on it. There's nothing else that can be said that Nigerians are not going to be impressed by anything other than a dramatic improvement in our security. And if you can't do that, the only way, the only thing to say is, I'm sorry, sir, we don't see any evidence that you appreciate and understand that we are scared, we are dying, and we'll continue dying under your watch. And it is not acceptable.